Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shanice, the mother of me. You know, for a long time, no see right here. I am here. I'm trying to keep my face from being cut off. But I don't have my damn stand. Let me see. There we go. We're still at family house. We've been looking for homes after homes. And they all keep saying the stupidest stuff. So we're going um, with credit score. On my mind telling that that's not the only one But we're going somewhere. We want to go check out another place soon. And um, yeah, let y'all know we're going to get that one. And we talked to them. <laughs> and she was like, um, utilities all included. Um, well, we have to pay an extra amount a month. Uh, Jim is there. Um, all type of stuff, so I will upload like the places we want to see and all that, but we'll make our decision Saturday. Where we go? Let me try to see my belly. I am thirsty. In a few days, you guys. I don't know if you know that. Follow my Tiki Tok. He will know. So, I've only gained 11 pounds <clears throat> so far. I was like, I'm gonna at least be 290, probably when I had the baby. I'm 285. I'm gonna go off whatever weight they had, and that'll let you know how much weight I, I gained. But off the top, I think I remember I was about like 273, 275. When I found out I was pregnant, so. Yeah, so we're going to um, go look at another place. Whew, I hate that we had that little rough patch. And, like, I'm, y'all gotta be careful when y'all rent these houses. They be lying. And the time frame we're going through right now with the world, they're a lie. Um, there's somebody who's on a month to month lease. Y'all know how many kids we got. Why the hell would we, with all these kids, want to be on a month to month lease? Think about that. That's how I'm gonna talk about <laughs> a little bit. So anyway, I had my glucose test. My first one I passed. Um, my second one I had to take for like, you know, around 20 something weeks. I had to take that one. And then I had to go back um, Monday, no, Tuesday. They try to say I failed it. Yeah, y'all have to be careful. If y'all know nothing about glucose and all that, you have to be careful. They read me my numbers. I am not glucose intolerant, um, not diabetic at all, I can tell you. Cause even keto stopped working. I just stopped doing keto. Cause it doesn't, it only works if you that is like glucose intolerant. I'm not glucose intolerant. So, I do a lot of research before I do stuff anyway. So, um, and then when I was keto, I think I reversed it and healed it because I just had a stand on the side of me that was real big and it would grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, grow, grow away. This time I prayed and I was keto. This was before I had, this was a little bit before I got pregnant with Rear in 2019 and it fell off. It just, one day it just shriveled up and fell off when I got on keto and I prayed. So I don't have anything like skin tags or anything wrong. That's usually a sign of you having it. You get you get skin tags. So my first my um my result was 103 fasted. It was supposed to be at least 95. Y'all, I'm that pregnant chick. Like you said, I can't eat after midnight. I'm gonna take that last 10 minutes and eat whatever I want to eat, right? So I'm believing that's just what was still working through my system. Stopped eating probably like 12 on a diet. Like with my last thing, drinking the milk or whatever. So that stuff's gonna work through you. If you don't know how to work, like, think about it. I had to be there at eight. I stopped eating by 12. That's not enough time for my food to digest in my system. So that sugar or whatever I ate will still be in my system, right? It'll still be working through. If you know, you know, you know. But if you don't know nothing about fasting, then you won't know. So then, when I took the glucose test, it was 183. Last time I checked was like, 
if you hit like 200 and you stay there for the second hour, you're a glucose intolerant. Then, y'all, my last two numbers was normal. I see that they just keep trying to push that narrative on us. We got, ladies, we got to stop getting pregnant. <laughs> we got to take care of our health first. And I know a lot of skinny girls and stuff get it too. But they really love to push that at us when we're a little thicker. And I don't like that. And so, they try to say, your age, your age. And I'm like, I show my husband these numbers. And then, you know, I get my information emailed to me. Anyway, so I can see my last. The last two was supposed to be normal. You're not going to tell me that eight points, the first one, eight points means that I'm glucose intolerant. That's some bull crap. Whew, I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. And then girl, girl and guy, whoever watched me, listen, they even had a nerve to send out for the medicine. And I'm putting an order for my, um, my prenatal baby i'm due in like 10 weeks well nine now if you don't know how iron work in your system if you miss like three or four days of that of that prenatal urn it will be like it will take you about three or four weeks for it to pull back up so i haven't had it for the past few days because they did that so i called yesterday and told walgreens like What's going on? Because I was supposed to be picking up my prenatal. It was like, well, we you working on this? And I said, no. My prenatals is the only thing y'all supposed to be working on. I don't know nothing about that medicine. Nobody said anything to me about this medicine. So they went and just heard me just threw the medicine over there. Didn't ask me. Didn't talk to me about the medicine. Nothing. Um. Then they even had a diabetic lady call. And I was like, ma'am, I just told them I don't want nothing to do with that. I'm so annoyed because they keep trying to push it. And I'm like, why are you pushing this narrative? Like, it's nothing wrong with me. I know how it works when you are pre-diabetic, okay? If you have any symptoms, because I used to have symptoms. Like I said, when I used to have that thing right here, it would grow big, grow big, shrink, grow big, shrink. That was symptoms. You can hear yourself from eating keto, being keto. If you're doing it the right way, the clean way, eating salads. Having all your greens, stuff like that, all your healthy fats, all your healthy meat. You can do that. You can heal it. And it won't come back. Wonder why? Because if you're still keeping that same food, those same um, food items in your diet, it won't come back. So anyway, um, the weight only come back when you start eating like bull again, you know, okay? People keep saying, oh, the weight will come back. The weight only comes back when you start eating bull. I wasn't eating no bull. I only gained between 20 and 30 pounds when I pregnant. I did that with my first child. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. Seven. Boom. Right now, I'm only 11 pounds in. I got to go look and see what it actually says. Because it might not even be 11. Shit. If I go out for whatever they said I was when I first came to my appointment. But. I had on my little body suits. I haven't been able to wear it. Um, but y'all, I hate that they keep trying to, and I don't want nobody to get in my comments, but you probably is, but no the fuck I'm not. <laughs> if you, when you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, when you eat certain foods or eat food, it will show signs that you'll get real tired, you get sluggish. Everything I eat, if I eat a bowl of I still get energy, I still, I eat certain things and I still get energy. Still get it. I had this happen to me when I had Riel, and she told me not to worry about it. Because my first one was only like a few, you know, points off. And then I only stayed high at 183. So I don't know what I was then, but um, I can go actually look because it's on there. <laughs> but um, I only stayed 183 for that first hour. And then the second hour, it was 132. The third hour was 123. And those last two told you normal numbers. There is, that's not a spike. They try to say it is, but y'all, unless you know stuff, you know stuff. But anyway, I've been having contractions. We're going to stop talking about the 
It's a little close thing, it's not fair. I'm just telling y'all, so I just want y'all to be updated. But I've been having contractions like crazy. This girl's getting big. She feel big. She feel heavy. Oh, that's another thing. They want me to sign a disclosure thingy thing when I come back in in a couple of weeks. They was like, because if you get, if she get too big, and I'm like, that's okay. My last week was nine pounds. I'm fine. I know how to eat. Like, food is the main source of it. Stop. Don't let them tell you it's not. Whew. They try to tell you it's not. Yeah, it is. Food is the main source. Go look, check out Dr. Bird. I can't think of the other guy's name. If I can think of his name, I'll put him on here. Go check out my girl, Black Keto Girl, on Instagram. Food is the main source of this. So, if you want to heal it, you can heal it. Um, And while you're pregnant, you can. Um, so, even Dr. Bird talks about that. Like, you need to be eating this while you're pregnant. And after. When you're resting. So, my boobs have been extremely painful. This past, I don't know if you can see the veins. I know I'm showing y'all a little too much, but I'm just, I am educating people on this. So, my breasts felt like they got so huge this past week. And they was hurting me. My husband had to rub them out. It was hurting so bad. It was making my ribs hurt. It was hurting so bad. And I noticed I had big veins coming in the middle. Like, I can't wait to I can be able to pull and I'm gonna document that too. Stay tuned. And thank you, Mrs. Scarlett, because I'm just realizing like I got like I'm at 613. Hey y'all, hey, hey, thank you. Um, thank you for still watching. You know we're going through this rough patch right now. We won't be going through it if the, the people that we were in the house room didn't lie. Whew, I hate that ghetto mess. But anyway, um what else? My contractions have been real. So, um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm ready to get over with this pregnancy. I'm doing my husband's birthday, and I told that before. So then now I'm going to And hopefully, I'm going to go look at this place Saturday. We're going to secure this place. I'm trying to get comfortable. Oh, yeah, I'm in school, too. Post a short. Tell me how that. I'm in school. Better, better in myself and my family. So I can have something at home and do that. Um, I don't even know if y'all know, but I am a trainer. I got my um, certificate in that months ago, back in July of 2022. And I was gonna start doing that and then we ended up pregnant. <laughs> so couldn't do that. So I have things under my belt. That's one of them. And now I'm about to go get this out. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. But what I'm about to graduate. You know, because I don't believe in telling everybody. <sighs> so, this has been very stressful. I am thankful. This has been very stressful. But I am thankful that we were able to stay here. We didn't have to run out of a hotel or anything like that. Because that would have kept us behind and kept us from being able to achieve what we need to get to. Um, We're not telling you where I'm at. We're going to tell you the family. Um, what else? Um... Yeah, but the place that we're looking at is in North Carolina, so we're going back that way. We hate it because we want to stay down this way. So we gotta go. Um, that's not saying about, oh, this girl move a lot. She, like I said, she heavy. And my babies be holding her. <laughs> they like to hug her. And Karia, well, you remember my baby? I had in 2017, the first girl. <laughs> I had a lot of gas. I broke a lot of my pies. That's what's going on. She was like, I can't wait till she get here. I said, you gonna help change? Because at first she was like, mm-hmm, I'm gonna help change. <laughs> Until I said, dude, was involved. <laughs> she said, you know what? I just help with the bottle. <laughs> and she's five, y'all. She lost two teeth. She's about to be six in April. She's an April baby. She like me. Her teeth already came out early. Like, I just grew up early, mentally and physically. So I have to watch her because she looked just like me. Um... Well, my mother-in-law say she like her too, but um, I'll say that being my mother-in-law's favor. I'm gonna say that. But anyway, I'm out this 